morning everybody it is may 23rd about 6 39 a.m 2022 it has been a productive weekend which i have shown you pictures and i have a few video clips after this <clears throat> to show you kind of what i've been up to this past weekend but this morning i'm filling another pot so as you can see my plants are liking the pot situation thus far, and I just hope that they are going to give me some produce. So this one's already starting to form a head of cabbage. But I've decided and noticed that I have only, I think there's two broccolis planted that I just stuck in the ground down in the main garden. <clears throat> and they're starting to get eaten a little bit. So... I decided to fill one more pot here. Um, and here's my manure and straw and hay that goes with it. This has been working out fabulously thus far. And the children are getting into a fight because Tucker it gets too rough. Anyway, what I do is I take a drill with a, a bit on it that drills holes and I've put three holes here some of these have much bigger holes but these three holes will work and these are deep enough that it will hold moisture long enough boy everybody's getting into a snoot this morning aren't they my goodness and these are working out great right here because my chickens are being awesome chickens and they're keeping the bugs away from these plants so they're not getting eaten so much and by the way, if anybody wants some roosters, I've got like eight roosters to get rid of at some point, as you can see. So if anybody wants roosters, free roosters. And I'll be back when I get this pot filled with the manure. Okay, so I've got my manure, straw, and hay in there. I'm just taking Miracle Grow. Might need a little more from another bag. I'm just taking Miracle Grow and I'm just putting that, filling that up. I guess I'll need more. I'm, all I'm going to do is spread it out and I'll get another bag and I'll fill it up to here and then we'll be back when I'm ready to put some plants in. So in regards to this miracle Grow potting mix, um, my Walmart in Hagerstown, Maryland is actually only allowing you to buy a maximum of three of these and these are the one cubic foot bags and I cannot for the life of me get two cubic foot bags they are unavailable so if you need potting mix and you want miracle grow i would suggest starting to stock up now okay so i had a few more plants there than i thought but as you can see this has been starting to get chewed up so i've brought it up here for my chickens to protect and i've got another one here that you can see has been getting eaten tried to get as much of their root ball as possible which it's got good roots on it so I'm just gonna split these up and we're gonna plant them here so I've got these and I've got one two three four and this thing actually looks like a sucker plant that's attached to this bigger one I'll have to look that up and see if that's what they are um, okay there's just pieces of dirt so I've got a packet here of the Waltham 29 broccoli, and that's what I'm gonna plant here in the front. If you have grown broccoli before and all these other cold weather plants, they literally like cold weather. They don't produce during the 90 degree summer heat. They literally will just sit there until the heat breaks and fall weather kind of comes in and then they will start to produce. So hopefully by fall, I will have another crop of broccoli. I found our culprit of what's eating my plants and he touched a ride over here. He's right there. Cabbage worm or broccoli worm in this case. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feed him to my chickens. Here girl. Whoop. Now the final thing that I'm going to do since I saw worms on these plants is I'm going to spray this Garden Safe Fungicide 3. It's for organic gardening. It's got a fungicide, insecticide, and miticide in it. 
so I can just spray this and it's safe to be around my chickens and I'm not going to have an issue with it. Hopefully it will take care of the problem if there's any more worms that I missed. All right, everybody, there we have it. There's the broccoli. Let me give a little update here. I realized in my last garden, I didn't cover everything that I have growing here. So I have several different kinds of peas that I have planted around my clothesline posts. And it looks like one variety here is flowering, which I'm very happy about. So there's those. I know I've got snow peas in here somewhere, but there was a couple other ones. And these, these are going to start flowering here soon, too. Um, what else? Let's see down here. This bed is starting to flower. These seem to be more of a shorter variety that's in here. I forget what varieties I did put in here, but it looks like they're starting to grow up my clothesline that has yet to be put together, which might not get there until I harvest these peas. My apple tree is starting to make a serious comeback. I've kind of been keeping the grass pulled away from it, but it is starting to grow new stems. Cucumbers have sprouted. These are Garden Sweet Burpless Hybrid. With this 90 degree heat this past weekend, these sprouted within a day or so. Let's see. Watermelon, I just planted those in there yesterday and this white stuff is Epsom salt. Tomatoes. And Looks like beans are already sprouting in here. I planted a few different types of pole beans in here. There's one starting to sprout in here. So those should be up shortly. It never takes beans long to start to sprout. And then this past weekend, I noticed here in the main garden that my corn is coming up. Corn, corn, corn. Little baby corns are coming up. I'm very happy with it. I just gotta keep the weeds down till they really start getting going. And I did see here, we've got potatoes already that are starting to sprout. So everything is looking like it's doing well. The second half of the garden down there this coming weekend will be two weeks and I will put a second batch of sweet corn down there. So I have two different batches of sweet corn so everything's not coming all together at once. And I do have one lowly cucumber seed that germinated in here out of all of the ones that I planted in here. That is the only one that I see that's coming up. I've got mammoth sunflowers that have obviously germinated and look to be doing well. I didn't think I'd have a problem with those coming up. These are squash, summer squash. And I planted a few other things that don't look like they're really coming up in this section. Over here, I've got carrots that look like they have germinated and they're starting to come on. So yeah, that's kind of what's growing here in the main garden.
because I am so happy that it is back to 70 degrees again because that 90 degree crap was just not cool. But my mommy was nice enough to put a fan in my little shed and I stayed in front of it the whole time. And then she even put vinegar on me to keep the flies off and bought me this $30 fly mask that I tried desperately to take off my face but in the end I saw her reasoning for it. So now I'm back out here eating grass and being chill and Needy has even decided to join me. She's looking for poop to eat because she's gross. Jesus, Jerseys, and John Deere people. <laughs>